Hi everyone, today I'm sharing with you part two of how to make your house a home with rifted items. I enjoyed making the other one for you with larger home decor, home furniture items that I have thrifted or found secondhand. And I wanted to just share some ways that I have made my house into a home I love and enjoy and feel great sharing with people when they enter my door. So I'm going to share four different things that I have done to my house to make it cozy and make it a home. So the first one is using baskets. Now I love thrifting baskets. I would say I am a basketaholic if you want to say it that way. I have many different kinds of baskets. I use it to corral my daughter's toys in the living room as decor in my kitchen. Um, as part of the decor slash um, clutter holder in my bedroom. There's just lots of different ways to use baskets. On the back of my toilet, they just make things look more cohesive and put together. The second way I have made my house a home is with thrifted wall hangings or art. I love finding things at a thrift store and remaking it in a junkyard um at an antique shop and just putting it on my wall and making it art i found these beautiful baskets that were from an old vet clinic and i spray painted them a matte gold and it also goes with the basket collection because they are old metal baskets and i have used them on my wall i love that corner of my house just how it looks and how it has added texture to the wall and functionality with those thrifted vintage baskets that I have found slash wall hangings. This old window was $3 that I found and I just made it useful above my piano. I have created some DIYs with old thrifted items that I have found, old art that I made into something that I like for my style. I just have created it to become a place I love in my home with my type of decor. All right, the third thing is plants. Now plants don't always have to be thrifted. Um, I get them mainly from my family or from friends. So I have probably 15 plants in our small little house. Some of them are all in one area in our back porch, but um, I think plants, that green liveness that you get with the plant just adds that nice cozy touch to a house. And definitely ask people, if you don't have plants, ask them if you could take a little cutting off of a plant. My spider plants, I have, I started with one and I have about eight of them and I always am sharing them with other friends and family as gifts. All right, the fourth and final way that I have been making my house a home is with pillows and throw blankets. Now, thrifting pillows may seem rather gross, However, you can wash them and I don't feel bad about using them in my home then. And then I've also found some pillow covers at thrift stores, at garage sales, places like that. Um, I find seasonal pillows as well because then I don't feel bad spending a dollar on a pillow when it's only out for two months or so and rotating them out. So I just think that makes um, whatever style you have easy to transition in and out for the season if you're not spending 15 to 20 dollars per pillow like you would at a retail or department store so those are my four ways that I have continued to make my house a home give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it for thrifty ways to cozy up and love your house let me know in the comments below ways that you have been making your house a home and if you like these type of videos. Also, I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. Um, that is much appreciated if you do, so hit that subscribe button below. And I hope you enjoyed this and found inspiration for your house that you can make it your home and love it. Anyways, have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in the next video. All right. Bye.